In a report issued by the Kurdistan Union of Journalists on Saturday, the government of the autonomous Kurdish region of Iraq has been accused of violating press freedoms. The report highlighted examples of arrests and beatings of journalists who spoke out against the administration. The report, which is the Union's fourth since the 2003 U.S.-led invasion of Iraq, covers incidents which occurred during the previous six months. Most of the violations mentioned in this report occurred during the run-up to the region's parliamentary elections in July, in which the independent media was often critical of the two parties who jointly rule Kurdistan. The same two parties also control most of the region's media outlets. In Kurdistan, I believe there has to be freedom of press. On the other hand, there is also a continual threat coming from both the government and party officials. Let me give you some examples. Firstly, on July 21, the manager of our magazine office in Kirkuk was murdered. Secondly, our editor-in-chief has just been notified of an assassination plot against him. And finally, we have been threatened by a parliamentarian after we reported his involvement in corruption. And while Kurdistan is far more open than the rest of Iraq in terms of press freedom, the report by the Union of Journalists still recorded four instances of threats, six instances of beatings and torture, and 21 other violations against Kurdish journalists. The administration has accepted some of the criticisms, but rejects that intimidation of journalists is part of government policy. We as the Kurdish regional government believe that without freedom of press, you cannot have democracy. I personally welcome and appreciate their support. It is fair and it mentions both sides of the story. However, there is one point I want to make. No high-ranking official has ever been connected with any of the violations. They all happen at a lower level that is by ordinary members of the police or security services. This report comes after a similar document was published by Amnesty International in the summer. Both reports have called on the government to ensure that there is freedom of reporting for all journalists operating in the country. Despite having greater press freedoms than other regional countries, Kurdistan still experiences limits on the media. Nevertheless, the Kurdish administration insists that it is taking the issue seriously. Benjamin Tragona Harani, Press TV.